What are you? It's a simple enough question, yet one that even after being asked so many times in my life, I still struggle to answer. Let me tell you a story. Many years ago, I must have been about six or seven, I was in the park with my dad. And I was off playing with some kids, so he went off to talk to the adults. Before I go too far into this story, I must first of all explain that my dad is white. He is pale, freckly, blue eyes. In other words, he looks nothing like me. So we're in this park, and one of the kids points at me and looks at me accusingly and says, hey, you, which one's your parent? So I point at my dad and say, that one, he's my dad. They don't quite believe me. They're looking at each other, they're suspicious. So they ask again, which one? So again, I point, that one, he's my dad. I can see them trying to figure it out, how this man, this white man, could be my dad. And then it hits them, the most logical explanation. Oh, they say, so you're adopted. I'm not actually adopted, that is my biological dad. I just don't look anything like him because I'm mixed race. See, that's the problem with being mixed race, because you're asked so often to define yourself that you start to forget the answer. This is a problem I find when we talk about racism in school, because it literally splits me into two. See, on one hand, I'm that Japanese girl, the Asian girl. She wants to stand up and fight. She wants to talk about the discrimination that she has seen, the isolation that she has felt. Yet on the other hand, there's the English girl, the white girl. She puts her hand over the Japanese girl's mouth and tells her to shut up. Stop trying to claim to a fight that is not ours because it is impossible. I am oppressor and oppressed. I am victor and victim. I am the ugly duckling and the dog that hunts it. Coyote, Eurasian, mixed breed mutt. In Japan, they call us the gaijin, which means foreigner, because to them, I will never be anything but a foreigner. Because it doesn't matter that I understand their language. It doesn't matter that I have their passport. It doesn't matter that my mother was born and raised in their country. It doesn't matter that I face the same discrimination that they do. Because to them, my blood will always be tainted by my father's. You know what? I am proud to say that to me, it doesn't matter. Because whilst my blood may be mixed or tainted, my heart is just as pure as yours. So I ask if you take just one thing from this speech, just one thing, it's this. That next time someone says to you, hey, what are you? Don't say black and don't say white. Don't say Asian and don't say Hispanic. Just say human. Thank you.